so cute. You guys, it's urgent and I have to talk about it now. I have not planned this and I've wanted to talk about this for over a year now. The topic of this video is literally just things that just need to be said in our community. My name is Aniva and I was diagnosed at the age of 21 when, uh, what, what? My name is Aniva and I was diagnosed at 21 years old with autism spectrum disorder. I can't wear this, this doesn't look great. I had a lot of abnormal behaviors. My parents thought that was really weird, but no one took me to get examined or did, they didn't catch it in school. Same way that they didn't catch my scoliosis. I started this channel when I was like 12 or 14 or something. It was not gonna be about autism, but I made this video. I did not think I would ever get to this point where I would be aware of certain things and like need to talk about them but there is a fire in my soul this is so important there are so many issues in our community and i just became a part of it so i personally don't feel like i should be the one to speak on this topic because i just found out that i have been autistic this whole time honestly i have thought these specific thoughts about how i would feel if i had been diagnosed on time and the way that autism has been made into an absolute mockery into a joke. Overdiagnosis and misdiagnosis, people literally faking having autism. And you hate to like say like, oh, you definitely don't have autism because like, but there are people faking autism and they know it. Like, it's not like people questioning. We're not talking about questioning or like, oh, I'm pretty sure I have autism. I mean, like people like actually faking it. But anyway, it is a thing. And people in the neurotypical community, I'm sorry, most people kind of are like, okay, well, here's another autistic person all right sure and so this wave of late diagnosed autistics who there's a lot of us it became very popular for people to go and get tested now and just kind of like or like you get your son or your daughter tested and you might also be autistic and then you kind of like have these flashbacks of when you were a child this is a video specifically for autistics this isn't necessarily for your know, typical people to kind of understand autistics like i sometimes try to do like educational videos so that other people understand us i'm literally doing this for our community i was just on tiktok consuming just over consuming. I was on there and I saw like all the controversy within the autistic community. It is not looking too good. It is something that I definitely felt like a few months, just a few months after I got diagnosed a couple years ago and I was like oh my god like this is going to be bad and it has been bad. When I told certain people that I was autistic they were like yeah you're definitely not. I'm not going to lie I can come off as very normal. I think that what has happened is that people like me and people that are older than me that are late diagnosed, adults who have been coping their whole lives, who didn't know that they were autistic, we speak about autism and I literally, like the people who I watch, they have been fantastic. Like I have mentioned people on this channel of that I love. Like I literally love their videos and they are just fantastic. I literally have no complaints ever. Some of us, are, I realized early on that I am quite privileged because I am in a situation where I can blend in into a typical population from the way that I look to the way that I speak to the way that I dress to the things that I've done in life like I've gone I did go to college any college and then transferred to a university I was on a dance line uh, these are all things that would not have been possible if my disability was worse than what it is and I'm gonna be very um, I don't know if it's sympathetic or empathetic but I'm gonna basically explain this to you guys and I know that most of us understand this but it is it's been like with social media everything is so like self-absorbed and so out of touch with reality i knew that when i was diagnosed with autism i felt very bad i did not not that i was like embarrassed but i don't like the term autism because and i have never said this on this channel when i told people that i got diagnosed i told them that i had asperger's syndrome i also put that in like the video the very first video and that's when i found out that it was like a bad term like it is asperger's itself just mentioning it is extremely problematic but i could not not figure out how to tell someone that I am on the spectrum without saying that I'm autistic. So a lot of the time I would say, oh, I'm on the spectrum, just high functioning. But then high functioning became like something bad to say. So I'd say, yeah, I'm autistic. But my job, I work with parents whose children have autism. Most of the kids I work with are on the spectrum. And when I say on the spectrum, I mean level two, three, high needs, lots of meltdowns. Those are people that I work with. And those people grow up 
they don't disappear into society. They're watching this video. I think what has been happening is with this whole late diagnosis thing, and I literally am on that train, and that's why I have to be like so careful. I never want to take away from someone who needs more help. And so I personally have talked about my experiences, and I've talked about the things that I've learned about autism. I hate ads. I have always felt like I, I knew that something was wrong and it was bad. It was bad. I got bullied. It was just not good. I cannot speak for someone who has had a different life than me. I can only speak for myself. So basically what I'm saying is there are a lot of us who do not think about the people who have been diagnosed this whole time. Because when I was diagnosed a couple years ago, I was like, so why do why did they merge autism into like just everything into the term autism? Doesn't that hurt people who have higher needs? Doesn't that hurt them? And I know it's like a way to gaslight someone is to say it's like gatekeeping autism. Like, oh, well, you're not the only person who has needs. Like, you know what I mean? I can say like truthfully, like even though my life has been very hard, like painful because of autism, I definitely don't think that I am more deserving of attention or love or acceptance than someone who has higher needs, um, who may not be able to communicate that to people. There's a lot of that going on. There are a lot of people who leave level two, level three in the dirt. I'm not perfect either. I don't, I don't sit here and say, let's not forget about people who can't express their pain and i think that we need to change that i have become so grateful to be able to speak on the topic of autism because it's not just about me it is not just about getting like vengeance on the people who mistreated me because they didn't know that i quite literally was not playing the same game as them like i literally just am not but I would love to get more information from people who have been diagnosed their entire lives, not to like force anything on anyone. I do not have the priority that someone, seniority? I don't have seniority. I don't, I literally don't have seniority, but I actually mean like what I mean is like my thoughts on autism should not take priority, superiority over someone who was diagnosed when they were three, five. 10 before the internet got really big people knew what classic autism was but they didn't understand what the spectrum really meant and what it looked like i think that what this community needs is a variety like we already have so many of us talking about autism but we need we desperately need people to talk about their experiences with each other like we should be collaborating because our community is very it's very um it feels very one-sided i have had a very specific life because of how i was raised the thing is about autism is that it's the same condition yes but in the same way that a neurotypical person could have the same brain as another neurotypical person if they're raised differently if they become traumatized i don't know get lead poisoning i really can't think of anything right now their life is going to be different so if an autistic person, me and someone else are level one autistic, this level one person had a loving, caring family, pretty solid childhood, TV childhood, right? And then there's me who like did not have a typical childhood. I turned out different than this person. So this person might have gotten a lot of accommodations. Oh, we love you no matter what, son. Versus another child who has been insulted demeaned, criticized, maybe physically abused, this autistic person is going to be different. And that is why we are not all the same. That is that the autism spectrum is a spectrum, but so is, so is life. Life circumstances can completely alter your identity. I mean, I, I can't even talk about how many factors there are, but that is why it's so important for us to talk to each other. I honestly, like, I don't even talk about like autistic parents, like at all, except for I think like how my learning disability one, it, I, I like completely, I have such a different perspective than I used to have on autism moms and everything. I do still believe that you should not like make everything about yourself like, oh my child's autistic. I'm gonna go tell everyone I know every single time they bring something up like, oh I'm a vegan. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think the worst part is that that's literally not most like autism moms. It's literally just not most of them. Um, it's just like a select few that kind of ruin it. And that's the same thing that's happening in the autistic community. Stop it. Get some help. We are literally 
ruining like we're not completely ruining it because we've made we've made some like jump some huge hurdles which oh my god i mean like it's incredible and i know how much like getting my diagnosis i honestly just don't think that's very fair i i appreciate like every single person that has watched my videos we have 1000 subbies we have access to each other to talk about these things open youtube oh whoops open youtube oh my dear god hurry up we've gotten a little bit off track just a little bit and i think that it can be fixed but I think that we need to recognize, even though it's been very hard, I talked about in why do we talk about autism so much in that video. And I literally have like this chart, people with higher functioning autism were targeted more, bullied more, um, because we do fall in that uncanny valley where people assume that we're like them. And so the things that we do are like, oh, you freaking weirdo, like stop doing that. I'm done. I am done, no more ads. That's that's it, I, I just want you guys to think on that. I have made friends doing this and they've been diagnosed longer than me. And I have not asked them really like, how does it feel? Like, is it good? Do you feel left behind? Do you feel like it's popular to be autistic now? Is it too much? Is it not enough? Are we not, are we not really helping? Are we just hurting? And I wanna know. So please, please, my God, don't you don't have to like or subscribe please comment and if you if you want to say aniva you are just completely wrong we hate you stop it fine but leave a comment please leave a comment tell me what you think tell me what you want to express tell me ways that you feel like you haven't been understood or do you feel left behind or do you feel too included? Do you feel like you your voice is just too much at the forefront of the autistic community? Do you feel like I am generalizing? Do you feel like I am over explaining? I'm over explaining. Tell me what you think. Um, and I will be very responsive to this video's comments. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. If you would like to see some of my other videos, I do have an entire playlist on autism and I'm still doing this as you can see because of that one kid that keeps saying more and please, but never I'm sorry. I'm gonna lose it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.